Hello guys, welcome along to another Pickers video, <coughs> Xbox 360 games. I've got 10 games to show you. Uh, I bought this off one seller on one of the um, local Facebook sites that I'm you know, a member of. Um, office in person. They were selling the Sun's Xbox games, they must be moving. Anyway, I had a load of them. And. Um, Ah, there was about 10 I needed, and she was selling them for 4 for a tenner. And um, so I saw 8 of them, and I saw she had another couple, but she gave me the pictures, and uh, so I've got them all for 25 so 2 50 each I've got them for. Which, that's like the kind of price I like, and um, it's the games I needed. Um, and there's some of the really good ones in here, eh? The 10 of them, there's only one never had a manual, so that's... Well, obviously I'd like to hear the manuals with them all, but out of the ten there's only one that's not got the manual. I tell you what there was though, I mean I was actually just going through my, my comments there on my, my last couple of videos and you know answering them and I need to do that actually quicker because I, I seem to go weeks and weeks before I answer back eh? but somebody was asking how many games are in the Xbox 360 collection and I'm not actually sure how many games there are. I think there's roughly about a thousand. Over a thousand. Now I know that some games that come out in different regions and I've just answered that. Um, you know, like your Aussie rules. Well, never came out here. Obviously just comes out in that part of the, the world. Um and I'm sure there's certain games only come out here and but um I'm only interested in what games that came out here for us. Um it's no pal pal collection but whatever came out in, in Britain. I don't know what counts towards it and what Disney count. I'll tell you why, because I've got a game here, I picked up one of these games and it's the uh, Indiana Jones, Lego Indiana Jones, and uh, but it's the one with Kung Fu Panda. So it's a double game. Now I've already got Kung Fu Panda, so I'm not sure. If, does this count as? You know, I'm going to put it into my collection, and when I put it into my, I use a game collectors program that's I bought, and I've got it on my mobile phone, and uh, so when I'm out and about, it's got all my games on it. Um, I can check see what games I've, I've got and all that kind of stuff. And you know, when I type this in, this comes up as a, I'm not sure official official, what's, um, because there's another one. Is it Batman, Lego Batman, and Pure? I've not got that yet, but that was another double one, so I don't know if that counts. And there was another one I saw in the shop. It's a triple action pack. It's I got Tomb Raider and Just Cause Two and uh, something else, Splinter Cell, or. There's three games on it. I don't know if that counts. Although I think if I get through this, right, and I get to the end, I'm going to pick these games up, you know, because whatever gets released, I'm going to buy them. It's the same with the Xbox. I'm not pointing at you, can't see. There's Xbox Arcade uh, Complimations, I think, say that word right. Um, these ones, I'll show you right here. These ones. Now I'm sure somebody took me, took the shreds. These don't officially count. Um, but you know, I've got them anyway. So I think what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to find out exactly and get an official count and to see what does count, what doesn't count. But I'm picking them anyway. anyway. But anyway, this is the first game. I'm just counting that as one game. But um, and then Jones comes with the manuals. Come with two manuals. In the the Indiana Jones Lego games always sell for quite a wee bit, and um, they're not cheap. So that will get that game will get played because I love the Lego games. One of the first games that came out in the Xbox, and it's one of the easiest games if you want to get the achievements because I'm sure there's a code that you can select each stage, and it's uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong. Um, I'm not sure if it was came out on release day one but uh, I know it was written very early because I know you can get this on the, the original Xbox as well. A game that I didn't even know that existed because I've got this game. I've got the first game. Um, but when I put into the my collection I thought oh no I've not got this. It's Tom Clancy's Hawks 2. I mean I've got the first one. It's um, you know fighter jet, aeroplane, modern you know, Airplane kind of shooting games. It's not my favourite type types of games. Um, you know, they're, they're not for me, but complete. 
a game tool that I would maybe enjoy because it's World War Two and it's um, Sturm Sturmakov, the Birds of Prey. Now this looks good because it's World War Two. I love World War Two stuff, so you know I would, I would play this more than the other one. Um, a game that I had a way way back. A game I couldn't play though. Even though I, I read the instructions, I, just, I didn't know what I was doing. And it's Star Trek Legacy. A game that's no mega cheap either. I mean, it's it's no mega expensive. But for an old, old game, it's... it's um, you don't really find it cheap. And it's made by Beth Bethesda Software. So it's, I didn't even realise back then. Obviously, they're the ones that made... Um, Fallout, Fallout, Oblivion. Am I thinking right now? Because I've said that now, I'm going to have to um, check if I'm all right. Aye. Did they make Skyrim, Oblivion? Um, what else did I say? Did I say any Fallout? Am I just making that up? Something I just do that. It's like I think things, I just made them up. Aye, I'm right, they make the Fallout games. Um, aye, so, maybe a good company, or a good software, or whatever they, you call them, but they may be the good people, so I maybe need to um, try and play, because I love Star Trek, I'm a big Trekkie. Condemned 2, a game that I've been, I should have got years ago, because I've I played the first one, completed it, loved it. So, you know, if it's more of the same, then, um, again, they're all, these are all complete. There's only one ever had a minor, I'll show, I'll just show you it. Prison Break, The Conspiracy. A show, the first season of this was absolutely brilliant. One of the best TV shows ever made, the first season. After that, it, um, I did watch season two, and um, but after that I never watched, I think it was four seasons yet. I think they're bringing it back for a... Uh, like a mini series or something, but um, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't even know how the game will work, to be honest with you. Um, but the first season of this, best TV ever. Um, outstanding. Complete. A game, a game that I should have bought a long, long time ago. Red Dead Redemption, it's Undead Nightmare. I've got Red Dead Redemption. She's all kinds of Red Dead. One of my favourite games ever. It's one of the games I bought on release and one of the games that I used to look at video footage and keep myself updated. Brilliant, I never did complete it. It's one of the games I've always um, in my mind to go back and um, and I have to figure, I have to work out where my game save is. It's either on my old Xbox or it's at my, my old house. So I need to get myself a pen and see what it is and get my save because I've, I've done quite a lot of that. Um, but obviously this is the added on, there was extra stuff for, um, online, obviously you've got zombies and that in it. Um, come to the map and everything, which is really, really nice. So that was um, good to get this. The game that I've said it hasn't got the manual, Heroes Over Europe, World War II uh, plane, fighter planes and that kind of stuff. Again, it's a type of game that I'll enjoy having to be shot of. While it's in the manual. And the box is a bit thingy for the back, so um but I've got extra boxes and I've bought um I've just ordered goo stuff or goo off or whatever it is. Because I've got a lot of games that I've got I mean, a lot of my um doubles out here. I've swapped them out but they've got stickers not on it, so I'm hoping to get all these cleaned up and I can swap that box out and the last game that um it's a series, it's one of my favourite series, although I know this game isn't, wasn't well received and um, they're making a new one and they're re-releasing the Gears of War 1 for the Xbox One. It's Gears of War and it's Judgment. The good thing about this is, you have to get the, the code that comes in it and you can download the original game on your hard drive, Gears of War, um, which I will no do. I mean it's un... Tell you what, it's unscratched. I mean, I've got it, so I'm not being scratched. It's just leaving this in here. Um, and you get to the gold. 
Um, <clears throat> now the last time I um, did my Xbox pickup video, I was on 4.53 and I'd miscounted that, so it was, it was 4.55 because I'm only on 4.65 with these 10 games added to it. So I'm really getting close to that magic 500 number, which would be tremendous. I mean, it'd be great to actually do if I get to 500 to go through all my games, I and mean, it would take a wee while. And um, but there's a, a majority of them I've not played, so it's not like I would be spending a lot of time on these game telling you what I think of the game. And um, but it would be good, it would be a good achievement 500 games, 500 Xbox 360 games, and that's 500 games that I've got. I it does include the ones that maybe are not officially counted, but it's because I mean, I've got over 50, over 60, 70 arcade games on my. On the hard drives, I'm putting the oil because I've got Xboxes in the other place. Um, so I've, I've not counted them into my the collection. So when I say four, four sixty-five, it's four sixty-five games. Um, but I will um, just leave it there. And thanks for watching, guys. And texting. Cheers.